Well, you guys asked for it, so I am supplying you with it. I put a poll up on the channel a couple days ago asking what reaction you guys wanted to see next, which ones did you guys want to see the most, and an overwhelming support came in for Human Centipede 3. A large majority of you voted for this to be the next reaction with the series of reactions I'm doing with my sister for the Saw series. Don't worry, the Saw 6 reaction is coming very, very soon. As well as Saw 3D, I'll be starting my Resident Evil reaction soon. But this is one that you guys requested the most. And I am terrified to rewatch this movie. Human Centipede, I actually would argue, is a pretty damn good movie. It's in the sense of being body horror, torture porn, and is fucked up to the third degree. But... When it comes to being a genuine film, it at least attempts to be exactly that. It tries to be shocking, tries to be horrifying and gratuitous, while also having a genuine attempt at being a movie. It's technically well made, the cinematography, the lighting, it's all very, very gorgeous. Human Centipede 2, on the other hand, is just fucked for the sake of being fucked. Human Centipede 3, on the other hand, is a movie I have not watched in roughly around about five years. I don't think I've watched this since it came out on Netflix after its theater run back in 2015. I watched this movie for the first time back in 2016 and that was on Netflix at the time and that's the only time I've watched this movie I've seen this movie once about five years ago and I haven't watched it since and I do remember it being enjoyably dumb it's gross and fucked up but enjoyable in the sense of like Dita Laser is kind of like Tommy Wiseau and it's so over the top and ridiculous but I'm intrigued to see if it still holds that label of being so over the top, it's entertaining. I've purchased the movie, I've got it here, I'm kind of regretting my decisions right now. But either way, we're sitting here to watch the Human Centipede 3 final sequence. And this movie also features Eric Roberts, I remember, who, I don't know why he's in this. I think he might have just been wanting work. But either way, let's get stuck into it. Oh god, I forgot. Ah! Oh. So, the movie takes place at the end of Human Centipede 2, but it's a movie within this movie, where the first movie is in a movie within the Human Centipede 2, but the Human Centipede 1 and Human Centipede 2 live in those events in the real world of Human Centipede 3. It's like a big anthology series that makes no sense. Well, what do you think? It's garbage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can tell you why you insisted to show me this trash, you vain dumb ass. Shave off your stupid brush. I thought he was pouring beer inside the boot for a second to do a fucking shoey. I'd say, good on you, mate. That's the Aussie way. Bill doesn't like when things are more insane than he is. Is that Brie Olsen? Like, the Brie Ol That looks like Brie Olsen! Didn't she do poor- I- I mean, um... I don't know who Brie Olsen is. Having the privilege to fuck okay. and suck me dry. Oh, I forgot, forgot this movie did this. Oh, God. Just to give you an idea what he did, he just stuck his fingers up her fucking... Kahoo-ha! Please, sir. I think I have a solution. That is not how you use a radio, mate. I treat this walking skin cancer at all. <laughs> You kiss your mother with that mouth? By the way, Doc, I need my physical checkup. See you in an hour at job. <laughs> Sir, did you hear me? Yep, he is definitely over the top like a Tommy Wiseau type. I remember it all too clearly now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Just snaps it like he's snapping open a unpeeled banana. Let me put it this way. He let some air out of his arms and just went crack. Come on! Motherfucker! Respect! 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 Right, clitorises. A fucking what? Clitorises! What? <laughs> is that my- is that my new ringtone? Jesus! Fuck! Very well, sir. Sure thing. No problem, sir. Fuck yourself! 
این بسود کامیونش شان بیکن او oh مای گاد آی استاف یو بگی هومو سیکسوال شیت هول گیت دی فاک اپ کیسترید دی اول Wow, you want to do another retake on that? Holy crap, that was bad. Turn him around. Facing the wall. Oh, 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 I remember. Oh, no, I don't remember this. I, I remember. I remember this scene. Oh, no, please don't. Oh, you'll really be wanting that reaction in a moment, dude. You'll really be wanting that reaction in a moment. I, I remember what he does here. I remember what he does here. This is going to be really bad. Oh, Jesus. I can't show this. Just to give a description of what just happened, you full on see him stick the knife into his balls, make an incision in the sack, sorry, and then you see him straight up use the knife and cuts off his testicles, and you actually see him remove the testicles. Oh, wow. No words. Hey, man. <coughs> How do you feel? I don't know. I can imagine that his voice right now would be like, Oh my god, Mama. What the fuck is he doing me? I don't have my testicles anymore. Oh, I've seen those. They're really good. Yeah, okay, Tom Six. That's... That's really cute, buddy. That, that's really cute. And tell him I don't speak with a stupid filmmaker about his poop fetish. Father! We'll get fired! You're fired! <laughs> right now! Jesus Christ. I hate human being! What is he even saying half the time? I don't know. This is a competent comedy. This is a fucking comedy. <gasps> Today's your day to be fucked. I'm gonna cut me a fresh hole in your soft kidney tissue. Ah! Ah! Ooh, yes. Not advertiser friendly at all. Oh, shit, this shit feels good. He's fucking him with a hole he stabbed into his kidney tissue. He's fucking him in the torso. Not his ass or his mouth, his torso. Oh, don't move, here it comes. He was being fucked in his torso. The prisoner came inside of his torso. And then Dwight, Lawrence R. Harvey, was sucking another inmate's cock. What the fuck am I watching? He's stable now. Uh, Mr. Six, uh, this is a, a big pleasure because I'm a big fan. Uh, thank you, sir. Big... You're going to love it when the director and writer straight up write into their own movie just fanboying over their own material. Like, that. that's honestly just filmmaking. That it. That is cinema. Straight up cinema. Yo, what the fuck is this? This trash! Occupy the world, where the stars don't shine. <laughs> oh, they're going to be so happy when they're told that they're going to be in the centipede themselves. To see your pure agony. 
A large majority of this movie so far has been literally been sitting here with a stunned expression over Dita Laser's acting and everything just fucking going batshit insane crazy. Like, what the fuck is even happening? <laughs> Welcome, punch! Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, Jesus Christ! Get the fucking scuff on the fucking knees, on the fucking, 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 fucking knees! Oh my god! Just stop! It was funny at the beginning, now it's just annoying. As it is, we're like, you know, an hour and ten minutes in, we've still got like 30 minutes. What the fuck else is there for this film to provide? Besides the centipede itself, it's taken over an hour and ten minutes. By this point, we were wrapping up the second movie. Maybe it's a fake. With Mexicans, you never know. <laughs> Whoa, that is fucking gross. No, take it fucking personally. <laughs> Ugh. Prove all the skeptics wrong. It is 100% medically accurate. I'm gonna be so rich and famous. What the fuck is this man doing? I'm already eating my own shit. I wanna be in the prison, human centipede. Ha! Oh. Oh God. Oh no, oh, we're about to actually see, like, the straight close-up incision, aren't we? What about to you, mouth, mouth any No, why? Are we really about to see a close-up look of this? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What the hell is this? Yep, Eric Roberts, I think that was everyone's reaction after seeing any of these movies for the first time. Ah, <laughs> uh, you get it? Because they used that line in the last movie. I get it. Bill Boss. Isn't that your secretary? Yep. Hi Daisy, how you doing? I mean, Brie Olsen has been at the rear end of another person's anus anyway. So, um, it's not the first time she's gone mouth to anus. Ta -ta 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 -ta! The human caterpillar! And just thinking that this is, um... Supposed to be getting a spin-off movie soon. The Human Caterpillar. Yeah. Hmm. Can I say no thanks, please? Please? This. This is a violation of human rights. Mm -hmm. It's certainly a violation of federal ethics. Mm -hmm. God, I am fucked. Mm -hmm. You insane freaks will get the death penalty for this. Mm-hmm. Um, he's the only character who's got his head screwed on, apparently. I like this guy. When do you think we can start the national surgical campaign? Because I am so fucking ready. Uh, the doctor's dead. The doctor's about the to die. <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen, this is exactly what America needs. Oh, fuck off. Fuck right this off. This even get me elected president. Oh, how did he turn around and come to that conclusion? That is my question. How? How? How the fuck? Give me a hot flight,
fuck. Whoa. That was the, um, Human Centipede final sequence. What the fuck did I just watch? This one was at least more tolerable than the second one because it isn't gross to the point that I wanted to throw up. It doesn't have that, like, explosive diarrhea moment where it's like, you can see the shit running out of the mouth and everything, and the people's reactions aren't as versatile. Um, and thankfully, the centipede isn't until the very end of the movie. But it is so over the top. So ridiculous and very boring as well, might I add. It is very, very fucking boring. And at times can be enjoyed as a competent comedy, but because of those boring elements thrown within, it is very hard to even enjoy it as a comedy. There are some moments, especially very early on, where Dita Laser's acting is so fucking ridiculous that it's entertaining. Um, Lawrence R. Harvey still seems like a massive teddy bear, the nicest guy, but my god, does he struggle to act in this movie in particular. He was better when he didn't have a line of dialogue, like in The Human Centipede 2. It, it's so on the nose, and so self-aware to the point that it is entertainingly dumb and funny at times, but at the same time, it also makes it a little too much. Having Brie Olsen in there, you know, like, of course, for a movie like this, you've got to have a porn star in there. You, you've just got to have a porn star in there. Like, why fucking wouldn't you? Um, this movie's just vile. It's gross. It has some depictions of scenes that truly make me uncomfortable. The stuff from Bill Boss towards Daisy, which is Dita Laser and um, Brie Olsen's character. Like, it is so gross and so fucking uncomfortable to watch. It's just so vile and gross, the stuff that happens to Daisy, and she's really the only sympathetic character by the end. You know, you can kind of sympathize with Dwight Lawrence R. Harvey's character, but the problem is that he is the one who came up with the idea of the centipede, and it's all for it, like, all giddy, like, hee 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 that it kind of is hard to really root for him and sympathize with him by the end either. This is not a good movie at all. It's boring, it's over the top. DLA's for the most part is entertaining in the sense of being like Tommy Wiseau, but doesn't make it good. And it's not entertainingly bad the entire way. It, after around about the first 30 minutes, the charm wore off and it's just boring. But I did it guys. I watched all three Human Centipede movies. You can watch my review for the first Human Centipede movie that I posted back in 2019 on the channel. You can also see my reaction for the Human Centipede 2 full sequence up on the channel that I posted around about a week or two ago. And now you have this one. So there you go. I've covered all three Human Centipede movies on the channel because you guys requested it and I fucking regret all my life decisions. But guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for more reactions reviews coming very, very soon. Look out for my reaction series is coming and starting very soon for the Resident Evil series. More Saw reactions with my sister as well as my reactions to Hostel, Cube and Don't Breathe coming very soon as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Do be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new videos are up every single week. Do be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next video. Take care.